Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I have the 600 page sketchbook because I set myself the challenge of doing the sketchbook slam challenge, which was created by Holly Brown. Um, the idea for the challenge is to fill up a whole sketchbook in the space of a month Sometimes you don't have to, have to do that even. You can, al you can also try 300 if you're a bit daunted by it. But I think 30 days is a good milestone. Um, I'd like to go maybe 400. It's important to like cultivate a visual library to um, if you're gonna like go into this strong. And, and that's what I have been doing for past few days. Just getting what I can like into a folder. And it's ever expanding. Um, now on to the uh, equipment, which I'll carry out this challenge. The first few items I got were these uh, Stedler uh, Tripless Roller. And I got these on clearance at my uh, local Eckersley's. It's just like our local um, art supply shop here in Ells. Um, yeah, I got five of them for like ten dollars. I don't know how the how long that'll last, but they're just basic, basically normal um, ballpoint pens, essentially. But blue, and I think another good idea for this challenge is to use pen because um, in order to draw faster, you have to overcome that like feeling of um, say uh, just making mistakes. You gotta like just go with the flow. And I, and I think that's a very good idea, but these pens should last me enough. I, don't, I, I use like an ordinary pen anyway to fill up a 120 page sketchbook. So I think I'll be fine. Um, these ones are also by Stella. They're, uh, they're called, oh, they're Lumicolor Permanent Pencils. And they have this interesting, um, uh, they give off this interesting texture when you use them. They're very soft, so you can like add a bit of shading, or like they have a lot of um, variation in tone when you apply them. And I chose two colors um, because I didn't know how they were gonna really react with the paper, but they're pretty good so far. Um, if I could show you like an example. I'm not out living, I'm just terrible. So this is just a quick example of what these pencils can do. Um, yeah, they have a lot of good grain qualities and very soft, it's very soft actually. It's very like easy to like, you know, just very comfortable drawing. Either like if you're like really tight or like really, you know, loose and stuff, it's very good. Um, On to the next thing just some Faber Castle like yellow in you know, like chrome and cadmium yellow uh, colors I just find that I really like using just uh, a very light color following inks with um, just giving it a base and it also it's I don't know just an aesthetic choice really I, I really like them now as a sketchbook um, challenge I want to get through as many pages as possible and now you wouldn't think really that microns would be a good choice because they're a lot tighter and they don't cover a lot on their own essentially um, yeah that, and that's gonna be maybe a bit of a drawback but I do have this on the other hand and it's the brush pen easy to um, cover a lot with a brush pen and I've come um, to uh, like using them a lot. And I think they're gonna be great for, um, say, trying calligraphic styles and like filling in shadows if I wanted to. You know, there, there are possibilities with uh, brush pens in the sketchbook challenge, in my personal opinion. Next up is the Derwent eraser. It's an electronic eraser, essentially. Um, it's one that's uh, good with um, it's more like using erasing as a drawing um, technique in itself. Like I could use the, for example, the Faber Castles and do a light sketch, maybe put as many lines down as possible and under sketch and use this to like rub out and sketch about a face, for example. 
So um, I'm, I'm keen to try that. I haven't done anything with one of these. So I'm really just keen and interested to see what it does. Finally, I want to introduce um, some pigmented ink, mainly orange because I think it would work best with um, my yellow favorite cast of pencils. Just to add that bit of mixed media if I wanted to give that a go. Um, and also have a bit of um, understanding. Maybe work in a watercolor style and have washes. Something to think about. Also this little guy. He helps my, um, my, uh, yeah, pencils stay sharp. <laughs> my camera's so terrifying. They're not even people. As you might have guessed, I've already decorated this with a bit of white out. Um, it's also fucking heavy, man. Like, it even mentioned on the back of this that you could use it for, like, a dumbbell. Because it was so heavy. Even, you know. But it's durable as well, because it's a hardcover book. And um, the pages themselves are pretty big. This is definitely not um, not meant to be a portable journal, like sketchbook in itself. But ah, uh, you know, I think it'll do great in this challenge. Uh, it'll hold up well. Um, and I think it'll probably get heavier for the use of different drawing materials. But we'll see. So you're probably wondering why I have this giant sketchbook and uh, you know, I'll state it again. It's to improve like the drawing flow and to make you draw a bit faster. Um, there are a couple of personal goals I'd like to um, put into this, um, put the use in the sketchbook. One of them is like to draw more textures and to also with my comic and current OCs I like to work on poses and stuff and um, but other things like and also to add costumes whether they be historical or modern and a bunch of other things I'm adding on to the top of my list so and to start I do have prompts in here to get me started as well as some tips I've learned from another video um, but otherwise, yeah. Also, to round this up, I'll, um, I'm going to be updating this every week in January. And that'll be my, um, my documentation of the full process. And you guys will get to see what, what I like pump out, you know? Anyway, um, that's all I have for now. Um, I'll, and I'll update you guys on the um, sketchbook every week, four weeks, and I hope you, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, thanks for watching. See ya.